circle here actually illuminates very nice at night and it represents the, the sun uh, at the center of the solar system. And uh, uh, its diameter is accurate with respect from its uh, distance uh, 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 to scale uh, to the Earth and the Moon and the other planets. So at night, when these are glowing, uh, as Carl Sagan called it, a pale blue dot, which uh, represents the Earth and the Moon, a little yellow light uh, here, the distance, which is just a, maybe three or four centimeters there, that's the entire distance that humans have traveled out into space so far. That's all we've managed to do. Mars, as its closest approach to Earth, is represented on that uh, uh, next uh, uh, post out there. And as we approach now the next planet, or the, f the first planet, if you will, in the outer solar system, the biggest planet of the solar system, and it's, again, hard to see in the daytime, but when that is illuminated at night, the first thing that you notice when you come up to Jupiter is that at night when it's glowing, it has an actual size to it. We're probably traveling 20, 25 times the speed of light, and so this is kind of like a uh, warp drive that we're, speed that we're walking here. As we approach the final uh, planet of the solar system model here, the, the planet Saturn. Well, on this scale, we're about 180, 180 meters or so, perhaps uh, uh, close to 200 meters away now. Beyond Saturn, this is where we had to stop our model because it gets to, to be too far away. And, and if we go beyond now to the planets Uranus, Neptune, and finally to the dwarf planet Pluto, that would be a sizable distance, a significant a fraction of the distance down to those distant trees.